Welcome, ma'am. I'm Sandy Cordova, and mine is about um, development and how do um, developers and our town le leaders justify all the development without serving current residents? How can you plan to continue building for more residents and adding to our current population without adequate infrastructure? Isn't it a right, isn't it a right to have us having adequate medical care? Norm, who um, is a neighbor, had an ambulance come pick him up. He couldn't even breathe. He went to the ER. They put him in the hallway for hours before anybody could attend to him. Then there's Sandy, who is passing a kidney stone. Do you know how painful that is to pass a kidney stone? She waited and waited without any kind of medication for hours. And as a result of this experience, Part of her heart was um, affected by this because you did not get pain medication. Then there's um, a neighbor, Jeff's mother, who has dementia. He took her to an emergency room because she had pain in her leg. She was having trouble walking and moving, and she re he requested, Jeff requested a wheelchair for her, and it was ignored. He couldn't get that wheelchair. So after this seven hour ordeal in the ER, they finally left at three in the morning and Jeff had to get up real early that next day for work. Then my personal experience, I went to an ophthalmologist and from the time I arrived to the actual medical care to the departure it was three hours. And this particular physician was a traveling physician she had 63 patients in one day. So to provide quality health care to our town takes creative solutions. Think of the overstretched medical staff who are trying to care for too many people. And how do you justify the continued residential building and the move in of new residents without providing the medical needs? and other infrastructure in place. I mean, you have a house, and don't you need a foundation? And what happens to the house if you don't have that foundation? Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Williams? 